Here you are, guys on one side, girls on the other. You probably have somebody up front telling what to do. Now, let's say you wanted to get more involved in the syndicates. How would you do that? There are two ways to get more involved. One way is called an action group. An action group accomplishes goals. You and a handful of other people volunteer to spend three to six months working on a project. A project that one person all by himself can't accomplish. These goals vary. Running a banquet and ball, starting a new dance, or hosting a Lindy exchange. These goals require a focused, synthesized, communal effort by a team. Let's say that you finished a major goal with your action group and you want to continue having the experience of dynamic, goal-reaching success and camaraderie. Well, the second way to be involved in the syndicates is growth groups. Growth groups are different from action groups. Whereas in the action group, everyone was working on one goal, in the growth group, each individual is working simultaneously toward their own personal dreams. You see, people who are always following are those who don't know what they want. Leaders are those who have a plan and support and actually go for it. In collaboration with Business Advantage, the syndicates have birthed a curriculum that enables individuals to define and achieve their dreams. Mike wants to start a publishing company that propagates biblical culture. Nathan wants to plant a church that ministers to the Hispanic business community. Janelle wants to be elected to city council where she can have a hand in assuring civil justice. The need that soon becomes apparent is a difficult one to meet. The need for equally committed comrades pursuing scary dreams of their own. If you are over the age of 17, you are invited to join a syndicate growth group. There must be a surge of Christian leaders with a bias towards action. 